Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I have become a bit obsessed with System of Down and I feel like we can't listen to all of their songs on this channel fast enough. Today, I'm gonna to check out for the first time a song called Chop Suey. This is based on your recommendations. Shout out to subscriber Loso1 who wrote, you definitely need to listen to their song Chop Suey. Some amazing vocal play in that one and fascinating lyrics and theme. And thank you to everyone for thumbs upping that as well. I am all about checking out some more vocal play from Surge. Yes, let's bring it on. Let's get to it. <laughs> There's so much that's happening in this right away. And uh, it almost sounds like there were like different kinds of voices, almost like different personalities of Serge, or I don't know if maybe some of the guys are also doing backing vocals in this. Um, but also the scale choice that they're basing some of these things off of is really fascinating. I'm sure that that is from their background, which is just, it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. Um, there was so much going on. I felt like I just couldn't couldn't grasp all the greatness of the little things immediately. <laughs> The build is one of the things that got me right away. And the way it has a really big shift later, I find it so satisfying when he comes in on the drums. We have a lot more of those toms. Um, it fills in that lower end and It's so interesting that they're just essentially outlining some part of a scale in G minor, but all of these different instruments are, are riffing around that at this moment. <sighs> I wanna go back one more time. Uh. We get harmony there, along with the comms. And even the way that they're um, playing, it almost sounds like a, like a banjo strumming. That's fun. It, I like the way when it moves up, there's a certain hopefulness and then it settles back down and it sounds almost depressing. <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of emotion in those musical choices. Okay, I'm gonna start here where that big shift happened. I have to go back and talk about the musical thing first because there's so much happening in Serge's vocal that I'm becoming super distracted and drawn into it. So it's happening here. You essentially have like a diminished chord, but it's starting on a G. So we have that G minor idea that was happening before. And then it's going into a diminished, an F sharp diminished chord, which can essentially resolve back into G minor. 
diminished chords have a ton of tension in them. They're like the most tense harmonic structure. It just wants to, uh, if you build up a bunch of diminished chords, it tends to be lots of, uh, there's half steps in there that are fighting against each other. Um, it's got some augmented force in there, essentially that are fighting against each other as well. And uh, it wants to resolve into a place. So it really surprises me that they're just going over this diminished chord over and over and over. It really builds up even more tension after that sort of sad G minor beginning. <sighs> Yeah, right, so much tension harmonically. Wake up, wake up, brush and put a little makeup. I just got to fade away the shakeup. Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? Here you go, create another table. You wanted to, grab a brush and put a little makeup. You wanted to, I just got to fade away the shakeup. You wanted to, why'd you leave the kids up on the table? You wanted to, why well, don't think you trust in my self righteous suicide? Angels deserve to die! <laughs> it's, just, it's just so cool, the different things he's doing, and it, it feels almost schizophrenic in the approach of and these different voices. Um, wake up. Wake up, I think. There's like a, a whisper, and then there's you wanted to. The, it's like he's commenting on his own stuff. I'm guessing that this most have must have been recorded in two different takes because sometimes those whispers seem like they overlap, but I don't know. I mean, in live, I'm guessing he does them both and they just overlap really quickly. We also had some backing vocals. I think this is from Darren. I think that's Darren is the other person who's singing some of those backing vocals. I believe so. Um, I actually have a quote from Darren. I'm gonna, I pulled out a quote that I uh, was reading ahead of time. And this is what Darren said about the song. The song is about how when people die, they will be regarded differently depending on the way they pass. Like if I were to die from a drug overdose, everyone would say I deserved it because I abused drugs. Hence the line, angels deserve to die. Uh, and that happened just in this last part uh, when they were harmonizing. So that's really deep and really dark. There's so much more that's happening in these arcs. I want to talk about them some more, but let's go back and listen to it one more time. Wake up! Wake up! Grab put a little makeup! I just got to fade away the shakeup! Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? Here you go, create another table! You wanted to! Grab a brush and put a little makeup! You wanted to! I just got to fade away the shakeup! You wanted to! Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? You wanted to! Why it's so had the scars to fade away the shakeup and this putting idea of putting on makeup. It's it's really talking about darkness, I think, inside of us and hiding the scars to fade away. I love the way that he did that in a whisper as well, because it's almost like the I call them toilet bowl thoughts that get in your head and just they they're awful. Like you don't want those thoughts in your head, but they they can be there. And it's almost like another voice that doesn't help you live your best life. And so the way that he comes in with these whispers as if it's some sort of subconscious or toilet bowl thought, if we will, um, it it's very effective. And the intensity of it, I think is very accurately capturing um, how dark a person can feel at times. Okay, I'm gonna go back one more time. We'll talk some more about this. I, I'm just loving so many of the different elements in the song. On the table. Here you go, create another table. You wanted to grab a brush and put a little makeup. You wanted to. I just got the fade away the shakeup. You wanted to. Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? You wanted to. Why well, don't think you trust in my self righteous suicide? Angels deserve to die! So, uh, Serge, when he starts into this section, his voice has 
this beautiful clean closure it's just the foundation is extremely efficient in the sound is one way i would describe it also it feels very natural he's using um he's using his own unique sound it doesn't sound like he's trying to be someone else he's taking all the different influences in his in life and bringing them together in something that is just inherently him and having very natural efficient phonation then when he gets to die there's this incredible amount of intensity and distortion that he's adding on top the fact that he's able to have such clean beautiful phonation and then have that scream that has that distortion tells me that he's doing this the right way. Um, the clean phonation is not being distressed essentially by the harsh phonation. And that's great. That means he's using different parts of his larynx essentially to create those sounds. It's fantastic because I hope that he continues singing for a very, very, very long time. I want to go back just a little bit again. Listen to the differences in phonation there. Oh, back a little bit more. It packs so much in. in my self suicide. I cry when angels deserve to die. Wow. I'm so, so impacted by the whispers and the intensity of the whispers in there and his facial expressions when he's doing them too. I just, I love, love, love this choice so much. Um, let's talk a little bit about the name of the song. I, when I saw that you all recommended Chop Suey, I was thinking, okay, so it's about an Asian dish, right? <laughs> what is this song? And then read a little bit more into it. Apparently, they'd originally intended to call this song Suicide, going back to judging people by how they die, right? They'd called this song Suicide, but that was quite controversial, as I'm sure you probably imagine. And so they decided to call it Chop Suey, meaning that suicide was chopped in half to just suey. I feel so strongly that it's important to take care of mental health. You've heard me talk many, many times about that. And so having somebody essentially expose the intense chaos that can happen inside of a brain, and like I said, these toilet bowl thoughts, I think it's just a brilliant way to peek inside of what a psyche might be trying to figure out and work through in, in such an awful situation. So it's amazing. It's incredible. And um, I just feel very thankful that they even approach the subject and dive into it so well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think that they're making fun of their own title with that picture. Wait, where is it? The boredom and eating. I wonder if they're eating chop suey there because it seems like they're making fun of their own title. In my self This is beautiful. I love the background with the strings, right? It's pulling out even more emotion. He even adds in a little ornament in here at one point, probably from his, probably from his past, I want to say. It's so cool. I, I, we've got like a, so much culture in their music while at the same time being so metal. <laughs> I, I really dig it.
right there. I love that ornament. Ah, oh, so cool that that's mainstream. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is like disturbing now. Um, that shift in the song and of course the screaming of father and father into your hands I come in my spirit. Oh man, this has so many religious undertones to it as well and maybe just the desperation of like wanting to be in a better place. Oh my gosh. <sighs> This is brilliant and moving and uh, exciting and sad at the same time. Well, The, the emotional swelling that's happening at this point in this song, especially because I feel like um, the, the vocal lines from Serge, uh, it, the main one has so much connection to his core sound. It almost sounds like elongated crying, which is fantastic. And then the harmonies are just their glories they add to that that feeling and that pull. Wow. <laughs> the song is breathtaking. I'm I'm shocked by it and shocked by how much they're able to pack into such a short amount of time. I'm gonna go back here uh, because I want to feel that um, emotional swell probably from even earlier. I have you first yeah, I bet earlier. Really I just want to point out he's working in this part. He's working over that uh, that chord again that I was talking about that had so much tension in it, and I think it's important to note that because it feels like it's so frustrated into your hands. I come in my spirit. That's where you have the most tension, and then it starts to resolve out as a person's asking these questions. <laughs> song is a lot to unpack. I mean, not only is it extremely impressive technically, vocally, so many different sounds that Serge is making and backing singers too with brilliant harmonies in there. And the composition is fascinating. The way it evolves yet comes back to certain moments. It, I just think it's so much, and it was less than four minutes long. 
crazy impressive. I thought, wow, those lyrics, there's so many different ways you could interpret this, but I think it's important that we just go back to those words that Darren had said that the song is about how when people die, they will be regarded differently depending on the way they pass. And I kind of go back in my life and I think, wow, did I regard somebody differently because of how they passed? Did I not have the empathy that was deserved in that situation? So I feel that the song has such a huge impact, at least it does on me. And that's beyond just incredibly appreciating the musicianship that has gone into it. If you'd like to see some more analysis of System of a Down, there's a playlist over here. I love these guys so much. So please comment and tell me what other Sode song I should do next. Hope to see you somewhere soon.